Good morning, my friends. The title of today's episode is Happy Gut, Happy Life. We're going to be talking about gut health and how your gut and your brain are connected. And when our gut health is in order, we feel our best, we operate our best, and we make better decisions. So the first topic is sympathetic, the parasympathetic systems and the sympathetic system, the parasympathetic system, and your gut health. So the parasympathetic system is your rest and digest mode. So that's gonna be your calming, your relaxation response. And then the sympathetic mode is gonna be your fight or flight mode. It's when we feel the need to be turned on to run, fight, go for food, um, fight or flight. So getting into an altercation or even just hunting for food or anything that puts you in that sympathetic state. We're gonna talk about how that ties into gut health. and. The first thing, one of the main the main points is uh, breathing and diaphragmatic breathing. So you can't you can't exclude the mind when you're talking about gut health because there's a gut brain connection. And when we naturally breathe correctly, so you breathe in through your nose deeply with your diaphragm. So that puts you in into the relaxation response. So when we're in that mode and we're breathing right and we're using our diaphragm, we are digesting our food better. And that movement of the body is actually helping to move food and, and, and move food and particles through digestion. It helps you to absorb them and to work the system well. And if we're in a state of a sympathetic state, so a fight or flight state, so we're stressed, we're high stress, we're worried, we're overthinking, we're, our heart rate's speeding up. When those things are happening, our gut is not able to actually um, digest and absorb nutrients properly. So what we want to do is we want to practice our breathing and practice our diaphragmatic breathing because this will, like I said, elicit that relaxation response and help you to be more calm and help you to assimilate and digest and absorb your food better. And especially if you have good nutrients coming in, um, in the gut, it will, if the gut's calm and in rest and digest, you'll break down the food and you'll digest it and you'll get it into your body and you'll use it and feel better. And But if you're in a stress state while before you're eating, during your eating or right after you're eating or even it takes some mixed meals uh, four or five hours to digest. So even if you're highly stressed during those that those times while your food's digesting, then your food may not be being moved through and um, absorbed properly, which can cause gut gut problems, gut pains, gut issues, um, irregular bathroom breaks, and uh, bowel movements that are not regular and healthy. Um, even even sometimes painful or or just not ideal. And so. Like I said, you can't you can't exclude the mind when talking about gut health, and you may want to think about it as um, mind, body, spirit, and so you can really move the body into the the front if you want to tackle things from the ground up. So, a strategy would be um, to tackle the physical part of my uh, mind, body, spirit first by maybe even eliminating the foods you shouldn't be eating, the things that disturb your gut, the things that you um, you know when you eat those things, you don't feel so good that night or the day after, but they are tasty. And so a good um, thing to start doing is to not eat those foods most of the time. And then we can get into maybe supplements then as well, maybe taking um, some probiotics and maybe adding some prebiotic foods and fermented foods to the diet and then adding probiotics. So that would be a, a physical um, approach there. And then from there, you want to move on up to, to the mental, which the mental aspect is going to be your emotional and your stress. And you really want to change the way stress comes into your body. And that really comes through, you know, I have my four keys of mental toughness, which is breath, number one is breath control. Number two is a positive mental attitude. Number three is visualizing possibilities. And number four is micro goals. So if you use those um, in that order, the first one is breath control. If you can learn to breathe in, breathe in deeply through your nose, control the breath on the way out and let it soften and let it slowly come out. You can kind of hack your system and, and tell yourself that you are relaxed and you can elicit that relaxation response and get into rest and digest mode. So if you if you're dealing with a lot of mental emotional stress and and you, you're a parent and you have kids and you have a high stress job and you're dealing with employees and you're managing a lot of things you know, you want to be be wary of your response to things. Even if you are, I, I am a high strong high strong person. My response to things can be very over the top and and ah, you know, which would be in the sympathetic sympathetically dominant um, mode. 
And so being able to breathe in deeply and out slowly and control your breath, you can really um, start to control your mind, control how you respond to things and really your, your mental and emotional stress. So your kids screaming, hollering, you're getting, you know, the things happening in, in your life with your job, with your kids, with your family, with your business, any, anything along those lines, if it's making you react hard and, and, and you're tensing up and you're tight and you're just, ah, and you makes your heart rate go up. If you learn to control that breath, you'll learn to control the response. And once you can start controlling your response to things, you can really control what stress comes into your body. And with the less stress that you are, at your, the, the more you're able to blunt stress before it comes in, especially mental and emotional stress, the better off your digestive system would, will be because you're not tensing and tightening and going into that sympathetic mode while your food is trying to be absorbed and digested. I believe uh, Pink, Ben Picolsi has, has a, good, um, a good rule of thumb that he uses, and he says to be in a sympathetic state for an hour or two out of the day while you're doing your training, um, whether it be conditioning or lifting, and then that it's a good idea to be in parasympathetic mode the other 23 hours of the day so that while you're he you can heal and recover from your workouts and your gut can move food through and absorb everything, and your body's in that kind of in that rest and digest building mode as opposed to you're in sympathetic mode during your training and then you go cram food in and you're still you're still kind of ramped up and then you go to your job and you're ramped up and you, you get an argument with somebody and all day you're ramped up and your body and your gut doesn't feel well and it's because you you've been blunting you're taking blood away from your digestive system blunting it towards your limbs and just because you're ready to fight or flight you're ready to start swinging you're ready to start running or or do something actionable and so if you can keep your control your breath and keep yourself in that state throughout the day, you'll be at a better, a better place to absorb and digest your food properly, feel better, have nutrients, and as well as recover from your, your workouts and your, and your stressful days from work and, and having a family and, and being the leader of a family. And so moving on from that, we, you, know, you have the mind-body-spirit aspect, and the spiritual part of it um, comes in with your fulfillment and your purpose. So if you're, if you're at a job and every day your boss is hard on you and, and you really don't like to be there and you really don't like your job, that kind of stress can really become like chronic stress, and I believe that's in the spiritual realm of your life. You're, you're finding out your purpose, your, your vocation, your profession. What are you doing in this world that, that makes you a living and gives to others? And so if you're not fulfilled there, you're going to feel a lot of stress on your mind and your body, which your mind and your body is your, your gut-brain connection. So that's going to put a lot of stress on your, on your gut. And so if you, got, if you start you know, e eating better things and also not eating the things that cause you problems, maybe taking some prebiotics and, and, and repopulating and, and healing the gut, you move on to breath control and controlling your mental and emotional responses and what stress gets in the body. And then you move up to that spiritual aspect of, am I fulfilled? Do I love what I'm doing on a daily basis? And how can I reframe, either reframe it to where it is good and where it does give me fulfillment or whether I go out and seek something that does give me fulfillment? And some people are just get the fulfillment from actually working hard to provide for their family. That's, that's the fulfillment. And if, if you really feel that and you feel good doing that and de it de-stresses you to provide for your family, does it uh, up your stress, then that's a good good strategy as well. And so you want to get those get those things in order. You know, one of my big my big story is you know I was I've growing up with with gut health problems. You know, I um I grew up with poor eating habits. Um, I used to wake up every single morning and eat two bowls of sugary cereal grains and and. Um, with a whole milk, eat two or three, possibly two or three big bowls of cereal, and then go to school and snack all day, and eat foods that were disturbing my gut and making me feel terrible, and using the bathroom and irregularly and non-healthily and not feeling good. I was falling asleep by two or three in the afternoon. I couldn't sleep at night. I was so low energy, and my I was always having gut pains and gut disturbances and low energy and tired and, and bad mood and irritable. And so, you know, at some point I, I said I was tired of it. You know, I, I told myself I'm tired of the gut pain. I'm tired of, you know, not feeling well. I'm tired of being irritable and I'm tired of being tired. And so I decided, you know, about probably about seven years ago, I decided to really dial in my nutrition and study nutrition for gut health and for myself in particular and, and test and experiment and see what, what is causing these problems and what helps these problems, what doesn't help, what, what does help, what the truth of it is out there. And so, you know, after, after doing some of my research and working on some things and 
and really kind of diving in and, and experimenting, you know, I was able to get in shape. I've been able to stay in shape. I've been able to boost my mental energy. Um, I've basically eliminated gut pain and I've made my bowel movements regular and healthy. And I monitor that, you know, when I, when I go home for the holidays, if I eat a lot of fried foods and um, grains and flowers, pastas, sugar, if I eat a lot of those things, I will be up at two in the morning with gut cramps on the toilet, like not feeling good. And so I know the things that I, I, I learned the things that I needed to do to get my gut health in order. And I still learn um, and learn and adding to my toolbox to this day. And so, you know, one of the things I use is, is I call it the mindful fitness method, you know, and um, to go into all that, I'm working on a 30 day guide at the moment. And this 30 day guide is going to help you optimize your gut health, optimize your mindset. I call it the gut health restoration and mind mindset acceleration guide. And so that's going to give you a 30 day blueprint to get your gut health in order, get your mindset in order. There's going to be some meditation and breath work practices and homework on there. And there's going to be the three essentials of gut health that are going to help you get your gut health in order and to help you feel your best so that you can give your best to the world. You know, when our gut feels better, we make better decisions. And, and I truly believe that. And I see it at work when, with, with my clients and I see it at work with myself and the people in my life that I've given these guides to and these tips and coaching to. And so if you like this uh, podcast, guys, you know, leave a review that really helps me out. I appreciate it. And you guys should go join, um, go join my Facebook group. My Facebook group has the same name as the podcast. And that's where I will be releasing my free 30 day guide um, and any other guides and work that I will be creating and putting out there for, for free resources for my clients and for for anybody who needs help out there, I will also be dropping within that group. It's, it's my little community. It's going to be jumping. We're going to be running to two live trainings or one live training and one live Q&A each week uh, starting in January. We're going to be dropping um, extra resources, uh, some podcast interviews, things like that moving forward. So join the group. It's uh, Secrets to Getting in Shape and Boosting Mental Energy for Busy Professionals. So add me on Facebook at Bradley Albright or search that group. It's the same name as the podcast. Request to join. Let me know. Um, if you have any topics that you would like me to talk about or, or release or put out there. So like I said, I'm working on this 30 day guide, join the group to grab it and it'll really help you guys get your, get your gut health in order. And, and, and we're going to work on breath control. We're going to work on meditation. We're going to work on habits. We're going to work on gut health um, so that you can really boost that mental energy, feel your best, be your best, get and stay in shape. So I appreciate you guys. Namaste.